hey guys how many times it happens that you have you find a good trading setup on the chart you draw your lines and then you're waiting for the breakout either to the upside or to the downside and you go away from the chart and you come back and the price has already moved in the direction that you expected it to move but you missed the trade not anymore now today we're going to look at why the automation is going to help a lot and this is why automation is a good thing but what we're going to look at is you're going to be able to draw a line on the chart and then go away and you can tell the system already that if it's broken to the downside or upside to take a trade and other stuff around that as well in terms of stop loss tp setting and when the line becomes inactive so let me show you first in a test environment and then we're going to look at also how to apply it to a chart because if i do it on the chart in a live environment it's going to take forever to, to demonstrate the system so i'm going to do it in a test environment i've drawn the line on the test already so what we're going to be looking at is basically we have a line by the name of line and then we're going to trade the break to the downside of that line and if the if the price moves against in uh, a thousand points meaning 100 pips then the line becomes inactive and then we have also defined that once the line is broken then basically take a trade based on risk per trade of two percent set the stop loss to a certain point and we're going to come back to these inputs when we will apply it to the chart so let's first see it in action so what's going to happen is basically that you have this line and it's a green line at this point in time and as soon as the line is broken the system takes the trade the other time again the price went up above it and then it comes down and it breaks the line again the system takes the trade now the other thing which we had defined was if the, the, the price moved against our direction by more than a thousand points which it did eventually the line becomes inactive and we had already defined it here that once it becomes inactive change the color of the line to red you can change it to different colors and change the line style to dash dot so that we know on the chart that my line has become inactive because the price has moved massively against. Now, it doesn't need to be a straight line. It can be a trend line like this. And let's go look at, a, at how to apply it on a chart and then you will be able to see it. Now, on a live chart, the things that you need to do is once you have defined your trading setup, maybe you're interested in a trend line. So you draw a trend line. The thing that you need to do is you basically go to the object list and then you go, well, I need to provide it a name and let's call this a line. You can call it USD, CHF, whatever you want to call it. But the line has to have a name because there can be other objects on the chart and then the system is not going to be able to monitor anything. So it needs to monitor that line. Then you pull this EA. And I'll leave a link in the description as well on where you can get it on my MQL seller page as well. But if there is enough interest, then I'll share the entire coding process here as well. So you can define the, or do the coding process yourself and have the entire EA to yourself. But we'll come back to it. So the first thing I need to provide is, well, what is the name of the line? So that the system knows which line it's monitoring. I gave the line the name USDCHF, so I'm going to call it here as well. The other thing is, okay, well, which direction do I want to trade it? Well, if I'm looking to trade it to the upside, then I'm going to say I want to trade it to the upside. Then the third thing is, well, should the system monitor it on every tick or only on the opening of a new candle? Meaning like if the previous candle has closed up of that line. I mean, I guess you understand the difference. I mean, some people have the preference of only taking the trade once it has been confirmed by the closing of the candle. Some people would like to take it. Okay, well, the line has crossed on this tick. I don't care if the candle has closed or not. I'm going to take it. But that's up to you. The other thing which we saw in the test environment as well, which was if the, the, the line goes or if the price goes against you that many points, which is not that relevant for the trade trend line as much as maybe it is relevant in case you were trading uh, a support or resistance line. So for example, if this was your line and you were going that direction and you wanted the price to come down and once it comes back here and then makes a move again to the downside, you wanted to take a trade to the downside at that resistance level. But in that case, you also want to define that once the price has gone above by certain number of pips, then you don't want to take the trade anymore. So the system should stop monitoring, the line should become invalid. That's just a way of avoiding a situation that the price comes here, breaks your line, goes up massively, and now it has become an uptrend and you don't want to take the trade anymore. So this is what you can also define here saying, well, how many points in, will make the, 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 the price invalid. Once, this, once you have provided these conditions, which is, well, how many points to become invalid in that case, well, what is the color that you want the line to become? It could be any color you want. And then to change the line style as well, just to see on the chart, 
mean in one glance that my line has become inactive but if it hasn't become inactive and the price does come back here and then moves back again so it breaks the line to the downside is what we are asking it to trade then we need to provide it the value of whether we want fixed stop loss or sorry fixed lot size or do we want to calculate the lot size based on risk per trade in case you're going fixed then you have to provide the value here if you're going for the risk per trade then you have to say how much risk on the capital do you want to take then you need to define the stop loss where the stop loss should be if you leave it at zero then the system is not going to set any stop loss but in that case it cannot use the risk per trade setting because in order to calculate the risk or um, the lot size it needs to know what the stop loss is and if there is no stop loss then the system cannot calculate it in that case it will just revert back to the minimum value on that symbol then we can define whether or not we want fixed fixed take profit or do we want the risk to reward ratio if you want fixed then you can define it here and if you want the risk to reward ratio then you can define it here 1 to 1.5 or something like that and then just a unique number so that the system can identify that this is my EA. The key thing here again is that you have to have the right name of the line here because the system is going to monitor whatever you put here. So this is how the system is going to work. The line can be a straight line, the line can be a trend line, it doesn't really matter. It just matters on you draw the line, you give it the right name, then you go into the system and you give it the right name, tell the system which line to look at and then which direction to trade it to trade it to the upside or to trade it to the downside and then you can go away as long as the system is on it's going to be monitoring as soon as the price breaks to the upside in this case for example as soon as it's going to break to the upside the system is going to take the trade it's going to set the stop loss to whatever you define it's going to set the tp to whatever you define it's going to uh, take the trade based on the lot size that you define so you will never miss that trade again and as a precaution we are also setting up when the price line becomes inactive, which is not so true in case of a trend line. You might not want to do it, but in case of a support and resistance, you don't want the price to break your resistance level to the upside 500 points and then come back and then you still end up taking the trade because it's not a resistance anymore. It actually becomes a support line. Then. So this is it. Guys, um, leave a comment, leave a like if you like this video. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can get the EA. Uh, I'm going to list it on my MQL, but on the other hand, I do want to share this entire coding as well. The only thing is, I mean, I'm making these videos, but I don't know whether or not there is enough people who would like to see the coding process, who would love to learn the coding process. And if, if I should, because it takes, it takes two hours to make that video on just showing the coding and then explaining the coding. So if there are more than 50 likes, and more than 10 comments below asking for me to make the video to actually show this i can show the code here well here it is you can pause the video and look at it and then code it but on the other hand if you would like me to explain the entire coding process then leave a comment and hit the like button if there are more than 50 likes if there are more than 10 comments asking for me to make that video i'll make the video and I'll link, I'll give a link in the in the end screens and I'll leave a link in the description as well to the new video so that you can then also understand how this entire coding was done. So this is it for today, guys. Have a good day. Uh, trade safe. Stay safe. And enjoy the entire uh, journey of the trading.